What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing back a Pokemon from the dead. We have ourselves a Lanners team for ranked regulation G. So if you guys ever play competitive in past formats in this game and even in previous generations, you guys would know Lanners is top tier or was top tier, but I don't know why. Scarlet and Violet usage has dipped. I haven't really seen this Pokemon too much, so I'm super excited to be rocking out with Landers and trying to grab some wins with this Pokemon. But this team's kind of weird, right? If you look at it, you got like Silk Scarf Dragonite, Room Service Incineroar, Assault Vest Landorus, and even Choice Specs Calder. So like a solid team with like meta Pokemon, but kind of a weird build. So going to be a fun one today. But let's talk about Landers a little bit. Intimidate adds stability. Obviously, that is the best ability that Landers can learn. With the Fairy Terror type, you got EQ, you got Rock Slide, U-Turn, and Stomp and Catch him. I love this moveset for this Pokemon. A restricted Pokemon is going to be Choice Specs Calyrex with the As One ability. Azure Barrage, Psychic, Palm Puff, and Shadow Ball, and a nice little defensive Terror type with Normal. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Urshifu, Incineroar, Dragonite, and Tornadus. Tornadus obviously going to be there for support and speed control. Urshifu is going to be there for big time physical attacking damage. Dragonite there for E-Speeds, Low Kicks, and even Hazes just to get rid of all stat changes. And Incineroar there doing Incineroar things. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Well, without further ado, let's hop into match number one. Going up against a team that I'm pretty sure will be showcased on the channel. Overquill and Kyogre. Pretty decent team with Sheer Force Landers, Whimsicott, and then on top of that, they got Dragapult and Iron Hand. So, again, really strong team. They have weather control. We have no way of weather control, but they probably think our Tornadus has, like, Rain Dance or something. But I still think we're fine here. I really do still think we're fine. We could end up leading Landorus. I don't mind it, but if they lead Kyogre, we have a little bit of a problem. So we might just want to go into, like, Shadow Rider Calyrex with a choice specs and maybe just go into Cobra Cloak uh, Tornadus, which seems like our best bet, right? Just go these two. I'm so down with it. So we're gonna go into both of them. I am gonna end up bringing Dragonite in the back end. And last but not least, I'm thinking Urshfu would be better than Landorus, right? Especially in this situation. I mean, it's gonna be great up against Overquill and even Iron Hand. So maybe we do wanna bring in Lando. My only problem is the Kyogre. If I can get rid of the Kyogre, Landorus is gonna be fine here. But if we don't get rid of the Kyogre, Landorus isn't that good. We're going to take that risk. We're going to bring in our Landorus. Like I said, we're bringing this Pokemon back from the dead today. We might as well rock out with it in match number one. But let's see who they end up leading. It's probably going to be Kyogre Wormscott. And at that point, we could just counter them. Just a nice little Astral Barrage. Which we spec stab. Behind a nice lovely uh, Tailwind. That's nice. That's not bad. If they don't leave Wormscott, we might just go Bleakman Storm instead of Tailwind. Let's see. They're going to go Overquill and Kyogre. Okay. Um, that's not bad. I, th I feel like we have to go for Tailwind because Overquill is Swift Swim, which we do not like. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I think it has Air Balloon. Um, yeah, we are just going to go into a Tailwind here. I could end up just protecting if I want to. Actually, I can't. I have the Choice Spec. But yeah, I like Astro Barrage here. Let's just send it. Astro Barrage, Choice Spec with Tailwind behind. He's going to withdraw Kyrie. Probably thinks we have Sunny Day. He definitely thinks we have Sunny Day, so he's going to hard swap into... Da -da 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 uh, okay, I thought it was going to be... Uh, I thought it was going to be Wimscott. So we set up a Tailwind. They got Iron Hands on the field here. Astro Barrage is now going to fly. With the choice spec, how much damage are we doing this over? I'm curious. That's some damage. <laughs> that is some damage. We like that damage. Crunch going to fly through here. Man, I should have Terrastalized. I should have Terrastalized, but still, I like that. I like that. Astro Barrage doing big time damage. Definitely should have Terrasalize. I kind of forgot it was Dark type. I'm not going to sit here and lie. But I feel as going into, like, Lando right now is our play. Not only are we intimidating, but we also have EQ Vader roll. And of course you're clear Amulet. Of course you're clear Amulet. Which is fine. I mean, from here, we could just go into a Bleak Windstorm. I wish I had Protect. I really do, but I'm just going to go into an EQ here. Has no effect with, uh... With Tornadus right next to it. So we got double genie out here. Kyogre's still on the field. Kyogre's just a problem. He's just a problem. We don't like Kyogre. We do not like Kyogre. But we still have Terra, which is good news for us. But he's just going to end up faking out the Lando, which kind of sucks. And Bleakman Storm's going to obviously connect on the both. And it's going to pick up the double KO, which is massive. 
which is massive. We get a crit onto the Iron Hands, but I don't think it matters. I think we're KOing regardless. So right now we got some speed going, which is really good. Which is really good, because he's forced to bring out Kyogre. I'm hoping he doesn't have Whimsicott in the back end. And if he do, I could always just scary face, but I'm thinking of just Bleak Wind Storm and EQ in here, right? It does make sense. It does make sense. Let's see. It's going to be Dragapult. So yeah, we do have speed right now. Bleak Wind Storm's definitely going to play with EQ. We gotta. We gotta. How many turns left in Tailwind? Still got two. Still got two. So yeah, Bleak Wind Storm, 100% our play. We gotta throw EQ across the board. We got it. It has no effect on Tornadus. We can get off some big time damage. Kinda wish we brought that Urshfu though, but honestly, Lander's gonna do some nice damage here. Bleak Wind Storm's gonna land, obviously, clear bodies on Dragapult. We end up not outspeeding this Kyogre. This has gotta be choice. This has gotta be Choice Scarf Kyogre. So we figured it out. He's Choice Scarf. Alright, and this thing's gonna end up D dancing. We don't like that. Not one bit. Not one bit. We do not like that. We do not like that. We have Ice Spinner. And I am gonna pretty much be forced to Terrasalize my, uh, my Dragonite here. But from here, we're just simply gonna go into another Bleak Wind Storm. And we're going to Terrasalize into normal and just go into an Ice Spinner here. We got to get rid of him first, right? Because you're probably, your choice in the Ice Beam, so you're probably attacking my, my Dragonite here, which I would hope. And then if I can KO the Dragapult here, then I can just send a nice little E-Speed Kyogre's way. And look to rip up into it. Because range should honestly end, I think, in this next turn. Actually, no, I think they got one more turn after us. But he's going to go for Dragon Darts. We're going to be able to soak this, no problem. Bleak Wind Storm's going to come out here, chip up some damage into Kyogre and Dragapult. Ice Spinner's going to finish off the Dragapult, which is massive. And he's choosing the Ice Beam, which we should soak. Cool, no freeze? Awesome, no freeze. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We love that. We love that. We love that. So there we go, Dragapult gone. It's just Kyogre's choice in Ice Beam. Our Tailwind's gone, but there's really no point of us setting up a Tailwind. Because I'm just going to go for a Bleak Wind Storm, do some damage, and I'm going to go into East Speed now because we got the normal Terror type. We got the Silk Scarf, and we want this first turn priority. So East Speed now, fine. Dragonite, a great Pokemon to bring this back in here. Doing plenty of damage. Dumping on Kyogre. And there's match number one. Going to us. We start things off 1-0. Looks like we're going up against a Miradon squad here in match number two. And Landorus... He's great up against me, Ryan. Right we absolutely love his Pokemon. They also have Incineroar, who I like Landers up against, and Chen Pao, who I kind of like Landers up against because we can intimidate it, but then it's still four times super effective with Ice. Kind of half and half on the board with that, but I definitely want Landers here is what I'm getting at. But uh, we have no terrain control. We can take away terrain with Ice Spinner, though, which is actually really good for us, so I might just want to lead, like, Dragonite. But Dragonite's speed's not bad, right? Especially if we Tailwind that. Yeah. I might just want to go Dragon at turn one. That's something I actually really like, because you have Inner Focus as well, too, right? Now you got Multi-Scale, which eh, it kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. I would have loved to have Inner Focus, but the Incineroar kind of just chilling there. Um, I definitely want Tornadus, because I want Speed Control. I definitely want Calyrex. Do I lead Calyrex? Maybe. I mean, I can't be faked out with both of them. So that works well for us. And then I'll bring Landorus, and then I will bring Urshifu or Dragonite. I think like it's either or. I mean, you're Focus Ash, which is really good for us. Um, I could go Incineroar here as well. A lot of different options. I'm going to end up going with the Focus Ash Urshifu. As much as I want Ice Spinner on Dragonite, I just feel as we're just not going to be able to pull it off, right? There's just too many options for that. So I think we can just play through the terrain and try to beat him with just sheer offensive power. Got Lando doing big time damage. If I can get off that Tailwind, which I most likely am going to, my Pokemon can outspeed and just do big time damage. Unless they want to set up a Trick Room with like Ferrigarath, that would be like their only way of speed control. But they're just gonna go Miradon and Iron Treads. And this is a pretty simple, just like, uh. This is a pretty simple play for them where they just want to go into. Uh, Discharge with Miradon. I don't really mind that. You can go Discharge with Miradon. This might be a choice Scarf Iron Treads, too. Because I think I used a similar team to this before. With Iron Treads and... And what's it called? Miraidon. Yeah, he definitely wants to go for Discharge. I think we're fine just sacrificing this Tornadus. Just to set up a Tailwind. 
And did we go normal Terra? I don't think so. I don't think we wasted Terra type here. We just throw an Astro Barrage. And Astro Barrage is going to do massive amounts of damage. Yeah, I was going to come to Terra type. This has got to be electric. Electric. He's going for discharges. He's not playing around. Is this, this might be Choice Scarf Miraidon, which is actually kind of scary, but I think through Choice Scarf, we're still outspeeding with the Tailwind. And I should just be able to chunk up some damage here. That's my whole plan. Kind of like how we did last match. Just one Astro Barrage does so much damage. Yeah, here we go. Astro Barrage Choice Spec. Might be able to pick up a KO. Oh, nothing to be right on. We don't, but Iron Tread's gone. See you later. Iron Tread's gone. I think uh, we are going to lose two Pokemon here, though. Because I think this Discharge, we're not going to handle too well. Yeah, no shot. <laughs> I mean, Tornadus is dead. Hopefully, Shadow Rider Calyx can eat up. I doubt it, though. Yeah, see, we're done. Dumped on. But hey, I told you guys. One Astro Barrage is good, and if we can get off Tailwind, which we just did, that's also great. So now I can go into Lando, and I also have Urshifu, who's ready to just smack up on people with, uh, with Sucker Punch, too. Sucker Punch should be able to KO the, uh, the Miraidon, which is good news for us. Who you got here? Who do you got? It's gonna be Robum, so they can fake out one of us. We're also gonna intimidate that Robum, which is really nice. Alright, so Grassy Surge out here, actually, that, that's better for us. I'd rather them have Grassy Surge than Electric Surge. But I think from here, we should just throw a Sucker Punch this way. And on top of that, we should just go into Stomping Tantrum. And the reason I say both of these into Miraion slot is because I don't know who he's going to fake out. If he fakes out the Urshifu, then my lander should outspeed with Tailwind, take out the Miraion. If he fakes out my Landorus, then we can just Sucker Punch and KO Miraion. Actually, Sucker Punch might not be the play. Because you could swap me right on, so we might just want to switch it into, like, Wicked Blow here. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Wicked Blow and Stop and Catch him. Double down to me right on. I don't think it's protecting. He's going to fake out this slot. It's fine. That's fine. Outspeed here, Lando. Do your thing. Yes, sir. Lando's going to take out the me right on. And now we have Intimidate on the, uh, the Real Boom, and he can't swap. So that's great news for us. That's really good news for us. Really good news for us. We got Tailwind for another turn. And they could go into Incineroar. It's gonna be Shen Pao instead. Okay, yeah, Shen Pao a little scary. We still have Terra there, which we love. We still have Terra, which we love. We still have Terra. Um, from here, I'm just gonna go into a... I think we double down the Shen Pao. I'm really not too worried about Robin. I'm doubling in the Shen Pao, and I am gonna go into a Terra type. Do we have a Rock Slide here? I'm, I definitely want Terrasas. I am going to go Rock Slide here. Just in case he wants to protect it, we can get off some damage. Plus, we have a flinch chance on top of that. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So, if he does want to protect Shen Pao, we're going to hit through with Wicked Blow, which is good. If you don't want to protect Shen Pao, we Terrasas Fairy and Chance Sorry going for an Ice move into my Lando. Real Boom's minus one, which is good news. And he's just going to stay on the field. So, Wicked Blow, how much damage are we doing? Plenty. Rock Slide should be able to finish that off. Go ahead, Rock Slide. Do your thing, Rock Slide. Yo, Rock Slide. Hit Shen Pao at least. All right, Roll Boom dodge it. Shen Pao dead. Shen Pao dead. That's massive. That pretty much puts us in a winning position. I mean, Wood Hammer can still do some damage. Let's see what you're going for. You're going to go for that Wood Hammer. We have Focus Ash, so we're not dying to this. And honestly, that didn't really do much damage at all. Thank you, Intimidate. Lando. Going to work here in match number two. Going to work. This is his 9 to 5. He ain't playing around. He ain't playing around here. We're not going to drop our defense because we might be able to eat up another... Uh, we might be able to eat up another wood hammer. So I'm just going to go into Wicked Blow, do big time damage. U-turn should be able to finish this off. Super effective. Yep, GG's. Like I said, this is Landorus' 9 to 5. He's just going to work. Can we do it? Can we go 3-0 in today's video? I sure hope so. We're going up against another Miraidon team, this time with Ursaluna and Ferrigaref. And both those Pokemon obviously are really good. If they want to set up Trick Room, they can really start getting after me. But um, who should I lead here? I could just go into Calyrex again. Calyrex has been doing wonders, just picking up big time damage early. And that is someone I do want to go into. I love Calyrex here. So I'm going to end up leading Calyrex. Um, on top of that, we're going to lead... Maybe Incineroar? Because they could go Frigraph Ursaluna, and I'm kind of thinking that they will. I mean, to be honest, Urshifu could be great here because he can hit through Protects and really do some damage onto these Pokemon. So I'm going to go Urshifu. I'm going to go Calyrex here. Turn one. I think that's great for us. We'll go Lando, and last but not least, I think we want to go Incineroar. Or would I rather go Dragonite? 
Eh. It's either or. We ride on's the main threat. We gotta watch out for me ride on. And who gives me the best chance to beat me ride on? Probably Incineroar, especially with that room service too. If they want to pop Trick Room, I kind of forgot we had room service. But if they want to pop Trick Room, our room service is gonna pop, and we're actually gonna lower our speed in Trick Room, basically probably making us slower than uh, all their Pokemon. So I like it. I like it. So Incineroar, let's see what you can do here. They're gonna end up leading the Frigger after Ursaluna, which I don't mind. I think we can just go into a close combat into Ursaluna here, because they're gonna get off Trick Room regardless. I mean. Are they? We could double down a for Graf. But he's definitely terrestrializing for Graf. Let's not sure it could, right? Let's not sure it could. I'm going to go right into Incineroar here. And I'm going to just try to drop the Ursaluna. You got to be terrestrializing for Graf. You have got to be terrestrializing for Graf. I'm just gonna look to just close combat through Ursaluna if it protects or not. He withdraws for a graph. Okay. That's a fine turn for me. You go into Incineroar. Okay. I mean, you honestly might be able to soak with Ursaluna now. And now I'm kind of scared. Because Intimidate is gonna affect me a good chunk. He didn't pop Trick Room. No Trick Room for them. And we are gonna see that Terra. Now, is this normal Terra? I think it is. There's no way it's Ghost, right? It's normal. Okay, cool. So I don't think close combat can KO, especially since we were we were just intimidated. But I still expect to do a little bit more than half, maybe like 75% of its HP. Yeah, about a little bit more. Our defense is gonna drop, and this is gonna be scary because if you are going for, I actually want you to go for Blood Moon and Ursaluna. Attack Ursaluna. Now you're going into my Calyrex slot, which just dumps on my boy. All right, that's fine. I'm cool with it, I guess. I'm cool with it, I guess. We're going to save Orlando here. Because chances are they have me right on in the back end. We're going to go right into our Calyrex. Calyrex. And I would think they want to fake out my... My bear, right? But, you know, what? I'm just going to go Psychic here. I got a choice in a Psychic, though. That's my problem. I don't mind choosing a Psychic here. Yeah, we gotta do damage. I'm gonna choice in the Psychic here, and I could just attack this turn. Or I could close combat then Sinor. I'm gonna close combat then. Actually, ooh, I kinda want my Focus Ash. I'm just gonna swap in Orlando. I wanna reset my stats. I'm tired of being minus one on uh, defense, special defense, and attack, so I'm gonna swap here. I'm gonna swap here. I'm gonna say he goes for fake out into that Airship slot. And then hopefully I can just get Reverse Luna. So Intimidate gonna help us out a little bit here. He ends up withdrawing Ursaluna. He going into is this Miradon? It is Miradon. So honestly, we're gonna be able to do some nice damage into this thing. Psychic stab, choice spec. I like it. I definitely like it. There's the fake out in this slot. Psychic's gonna fly here, and it does great damage. It does wonderful damage. I want to EQ though. <laughs> I really do want to EQ. I could stay in here because I do outspeed, which is awesome. Um, and I think I do. I think I just attack this slot. I think I just psychic this slot, and on top of that, I go into a uh, stomping tantrum into Incineroar. Who's minus one, but they might swap it into Frigraph or something. You're going to swap me right on. That's fine. Who's taking a psychic? Ursaluna or Frigraph? It's going to be Frigraph. All right, so Frigraph soaks this decently well, but stomping tantrum can now fly and chip up damage into Incineroar. All right. Oh, you got the Psychic Seeds, too. It's only a defense boost, so... How much damage are we doing with Psychic? Not bad for not very effective. Not bad. Stop potential fly. Is this ko -ing? I really hope so. No, it's not. It's gonna work pretty bulky. Are you gonna bury up? There you go for knockoff. That's fine. So we lose our Calyrex. Um, I still have Urshfu. I could actually Terrasalize Urshfu now. And really just start to look to do some massive amounts of damage. Could also trash slice Delano, but I love Orlando's typing. I like the focus ash here as well. Hmm. I don't know who they go into though. That's a real problem. 
They didn't use Terra yet. Oh, no, they did. That's that's huge. That's huge. So I can just go in the Wicked Blow. I was going to say, they might Terrasalize Frigograph into, like, Fairy to get off Trick Room. But this seems like we are sitting in such a great position. It seems like we're going to win this. He's going to withdraw on Center or Whoever you swap into is dead. Ursaluna, dead. Miraidon, dead. It's going to be Miraidon. See you later, Miraidon. Thanks for playing. Unless you have Ally Switch. I mean, he would still be dead because Wicked Blow would just attack you. But you're dead here. And you're dead. Yeah, no, I love this. I like what we're saying. So now they have Ursaluna. Um, they also have Incineroar. They can fake out and attack me. But I might just detect my Urshifu. But I think we just have to double down to Ursaluna here. Yeah. No, no, no. That makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, if we double down to Ursaluna, we win this game. We win this game because Incineroar obviously wants to fake out. And I don't care who he fakes out, both my Pokemon are outspeeding. And whichever one he doesn't fake out is just going to KO the Ursaluna. So, yeah, this is a pretty simple just double down to Ursaluna slot kind of play. Could go Rock Slide, but honestly, I'm not trying to risk accuracy here. So there's fake out in that slot, and guess what? Urshfu's outspeeding, and he's taking out your Ursaluna. So, my Urshfu is the better bear. They're both bears, mine's just better. Mine's just better. Yo, another 3-0 perfect record. We are kicking it. We have been killing it recently. I just feel like I've been playing so good on the rank ladder. Just so good. So Incineroar is our final Pokemon. And it's funny because I was like, we got to bring our Incineroar. It's got room service. It could be really good here. It died in one shot. It was just gone. <laughs> it was just dead. But from here, we're just going to close combat. Stopping Tantrum. They're going to cancel the match, correct? Yep, there it is. 3-0 perfect record. So guys, we went to Landorus's gravesite, we dug him back up from the dead, and this thing pulled out a 3-0 perfect record. I love this Pokemon. Landorus is so solid, has great stats, great ability, everything about it I really love. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.